sup? Hmm? What is sup? Um, there's a kayak place downtown. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like kayaking, paddle, and sup. They, they, they surf sup. Surf sup? Is that Maybe the... it's surfing. Yeah. I mean, that would be the one board-based, like... Stand-up paddle board. Oh, okay. Okay, because, you know, all of the, the, the signage is in in all caps, so it does not oh. come across that it's an acronym. Stand-up paddle board. Right. I mean, there's got to be, like, aging Gen X. Um, I don't suppose I need to say aging Gen X. There are Gen X surfers out there who, like, pioneered that phraseology in the sup. 1990s. Yeah. I'm big into sup. I see sup all the time. <laughs> Stand up paddleboard. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Better than sit down paddleboard. Sitting, standing, leaning paddleboard. <laughs> I've never seen Point Break, either version. There's two versions, right? There was a new one. The one I've seen is Gross Point. Gross Point Blank, which is a completely different thing. Never mind. It's a different thing, yeah. Completely different thing. What about the um, revered 1992 uh, Gen X romance slash comedy singles? The early, Ethan Hawk the early and... 90s are, are a weird time for me, hmm. as I was a baby. Mm. And I didn't see movies, uh, other than like the, the Looney Tunes VHSs, I didn't see movies until 94. I still have a great deal of like grief and regret, because once when I was very young, Bambi came back into theaters and my mother took me to see it. Yeah. And I got so bored that I demanded we leave. And she wanted to, like, she just wanted to watch Bambi with me. And I think it actually, like, hurt her. So, Mom, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I went and saw Beauty and the Beast with my dad, the, mm-hmm. the animated one. He cried. Mm-hmm. So sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh. Made up for all the other weird movies I made him watch. I, um, a friend wrote a fanfic about Belle never meeting the Beast and just, like, having to marry Gaston and winding up with, like, seven rambunctious boys and one daughter who she dotes on. Ah. Uh... Who winds up even being even more of kind of, like, a Belle-like character than she was. The... Uh... What... What makes a bell? Oh, just being like, I'm, you know, uh, like myself, she's kind of pretentious about things. Right? <laughs> Cameron, <laughs> are you a Disney princess? God, I wish. I mean, I would have such great clothes and yeah. little birds would land on my fingers. Yeah? Yeah. Also, royalty, so you wind up wealthy. Which means you can afford the books. Yeah. You can have a grand ballroom library. Mm-hmm. Such tall curtains. All I'd have to do is figure out how to dance, which can't be that hard. And the fact that I've spent multiple decades completely failing to move my body in any kind of concert with, I mean, itself, let alone music or another person, is probably just like, I don't know, something I could easily overcome. You know, the thing about dance Mm -hmm. is... You don't you don't have to figure it out on your own because mm-hmm. there's directions. True. Actually, the one time I've had a good time dancing, I was with somebody who uh, danced a lot and she was like, just let me lead. Amazing. Easy. Yeah. And it was like, oh, this is actually really fun. Yeah. Yeah. If you find someone that can actually... Somebody... Stop you from crashing into other people. Mm-hmm. At the very least, it can be it can be quite fun. I had it was like grade nine polka unit. Mm-hmm. I kept picking the same guy to dance with just because he could kind of match the energy mm-hmm. I wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Then his friend asked me out, and I was not. Mm. It's like you don't know yeah, me. Yeah, no, that's not the vibe we're going for here. No, that's not what this is about. 
And again, this is before like the grade 10 dance. This is the grade nine, just phys ed dance unit. Right. I almost, okay, that high school dance unit almost kept, kept me off the honor roll one year. Just because it's hard? Yeah, because I was so bad at dancing. I failed the dance unit, which brought down my grade in gym class far yeah. enough that I was like, like people, the, they they were like, well, you you technically no longer qualify for the honor roll. Yeah, and that's like scholarships potentially too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. the The best thing was uh, learning Cotton Eye Joe because that'll save you in so many situations. Yeah, where where do you come from? Where do you go? We I had to learn how to line dance to to fishing in the dark. Yeah, we had fishing in the dark, Cadillac Ranch. Fishing in the dark is so fast. Yeah. And then I had to learn how to polka because as the gym teacher said, you're going to want to know how to polka for Oktoberfest. You're going to want to Polka at, at Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. I really like polka. I like the, <laughs> the triple, the like, but, 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 mm-hmm. instead of the, the, so the waltz with like the lift, mm-hmm. it's kind of fun to do, but it's harder depending on your footwear. Because mm-hmm. like if you're already on your toes, <laughs> doing the lift is, Mm-hmm. And especially with the height difference, because I'm already in, in kind of a middle range for for height of people that mm-hmm. exist. Well, so thought, like, was this grade nine? Yeah, that's kind of like one of the windows where the girls are generally taller. I was than taller. Boys. I yeah. was one of the like three tallest people, mm-hmm. and it was weird because there was like a Courtney mm-hmm. that was like her name was one letter off mine. Like it's Dixon. Uh, mm-hmm. So we would be next to each other in, in like, the right, grad role. Right, right, right. And it would just be like, I'm not the tallest. Huh. They, they found someone with a name extremely similar to mine, mm-hmm. and they made her taller. What do I have? This what am like, I? This is like the stories from Lord of the Rings, <laughs> like the behind-the-scenes thing where... Um, the hobbits oh, kept growing? <laughs> no, it was that uh, they found little people to play them. Yeah. Right? For when they had to be next to a, you know, when they weren't doing a Hobbit exclusive shot. Um, And they were like, they had very extensive makeup and looked exactly like, you know, uh, the the actors. Yeah. And, um, oh, what's his name? He plays Sam. Um, Well, now that you've mentioned it, Sean Astin. Sean Astin uh, had a story where he was like into chess at the time. Yeah. And so he would play chess against his own body double, but his body double was so much better at it than oh, him. Oh no! So he was const- like he was playing chess against a small version of himself yeah. that was just demolishing him. God, I do like uh, in the show "Only Murders in the Building." Uh, they have um, Steve Martin playing a kind of washed-up TV detective actor. He's like mm-hmm. a um, uh, not a Columbo, uh, like a Matlocky, I don't know, kind of mm. type thing. Uh, but they have a character who's his body double or his stunt double, mm-hmm. uh, and she's played by Jane Lynch. <laughs> so <laughs> she's better in every way and keeps stealing his girlfriends. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so, yeah, I don't know. God, you, your own doppelganger showing you up. Mm. Intolerable. That's some murdering offense, isn't it? Because, like, there could be only one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, okay. In, like, circa 2010, there was one of those, what I now recognize as extremely irritating, very clever books that show up on, like, NPR and make the rounds of, like, people who want to appear sophisticated called Some, uh, which was... Oh, you've read that. Yeah, I. <laughs> I think you recommended it. it. <laughs> but it's like it's not very profound. But it had a couple of interesting ideas. The concept is like when you die, here's like forty different things that can happen to you. Right. Yes. Um, okay. And uh, one of them is that 
the many like the 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 many universes theory of quantum mechanics is true. Mm -hmm. And when you die, you go to the um, the 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 afterworld where all of the versions of yourself go. Yeah. And so you are forced to contend with all of your different potentials, whether they are like unrealized potential or pitfalls that you manage to avoid. Mm. And so the more of your potential that you realized, the more irritating people, like the more depressing versions of yourself you have. Mm. And the further you fell, the more successful versions of yourself you kind of have to confront day to day. Is And it's your idea of success? Well, it's... It's the stuff that you're proud of, or... It's not even, like, adjudicated in that way. Yeah. It's just, if you wrote a novel in your life... They wrote a better novel. Or, or like... Um, but it's not like, if you wrote a novel in your life, they inherited a billion dollars. Yeah, there's always going to be somebody who's a little better than you by any metric you choose to use. Right. Because it's all just you, and there's no, like actual judgment coming down from on high it's just you have to kind of like constantly spend your eternity you have constantly spend your eternity you have to spend eternity alongside all the different versions of yourselves mm -hmm. i wanted to write a horror story kind of like i don't know the haunting of hill house because mm -hmm. that's like a team goes in to investigate a haunting in this house and then weird stuff happens mm -hmm. uh but in the concept the ghosts you encounter are other versions of yourself that are also coincidentally in that space. Oh. And so you can, you can like, because it's always like, oh, if you sit in this chair, there's like a visitation or something like that. So you have, right. you can have a conversation with a different version of yourself. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. And so it has like that, that element where at first you think maybe this is prophecy. Yeah. Right. But no, it's just. Or like you see like you know images and yeah okay and then it I mean, it's kind of like maybe the show counterpart maybe <laughs> okay okay that's good I like that yeah that beats my uh, speaking of things that you ne never did and will never do mm -hmm. um, my version of that is that I wanted to write like a play about um, the Library of Alexandria right where Hypatia knows that basically everyone in the library is a time traveler. Yes, this is amazing. Yeah, yes. where she's just like... Because of course she knows. Yeah, she's probably, you know, she, she's, she's brilliant, right? Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, she's, she's, she's the head librarian and everyone around her is speaking terrible Greek. And they're just like, so, uh, can I copy this scroll? Yeah please she's like why <laughs> right? yeah like that's that's on the restricted list i need i need you to give me a good reason and they're like speaking terrible greek back and she's like no a reason right and like <laughs> the the just knowing that you're surrounded by people from different eras who are all converging here eventually you would like put together that it's a catastrophe yeah, yeah that, that at some point like people are like Especially the kinds of questions that yeah. people are asking. This, this happens to Cassandra, too. Yeah. yeah. It's like, wow, there's 400 plays by Sophocles in here? Like, <laughs> that many? Just like, oh, fuck. I need to take vacation time uh -huh. like, now. Oh. But I'll never do it. So <laughs> that's as far as I got. So many things, so many unopened boxes. Yep. You know, we're here to play video games. Sometimes those boxes contain one act plays that may or may not have ever won a Tony. Sometimes they contain a Big Mac. Did you also want perhaps an EGOT <laughs> or like a MacArthur Grant or? Uh, the one thing I've always wanted is a uh, a Bacon Erdős number. Oh, it's a, so, so you have to paper. A math. Yeah, and actually, I do have a friend who has an Erdish number. Right. Um, he, I think his is actually three. Mm -hmm. His his uh, uh, PhD supervisor wrote a paper. Yep. With Erdish. Uh, so, 
it, we dep- have a bacon number of three. three? Yeah. yeah. It, depending so, on how loose your bacon numbering is. Yeah. Uh, so we could actually like get in on kind of on the ground floor. Like right. Natalie Portman's is what, like eight or something? Yeah. I just, I've always felt bad because I don't even have an undergrad mm. thing. Like I have to do something wicked awesome for for someone to want to write a paper with me and put my name on it. Mm. Yeah. It's, I, I suppose that one's still attainable. Right? You can always just write a paper. Just like a white paper or something? Well, the, the thing is, with math departments, as far as I can tell, they just usually sit around waiting to collaborate on something that somebody finds too difficult to do. Right? Like... You know, a lot of scientific or technical papers will involve, like, a little bit of calculus or, a, you know, something that you just aren't necessarily confident doing yourself. Yeah. Maybe there's a better way to do it. And oh, there's then a whole you building. To math there's a nerds whole building to make them of nerds do the math part. Across, the con- across campus who are just like, yeah, I can do this in 15 minutes and you want me to be a... I'll, yeah, okay, I'll contribute to your paper. Cameron, this is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's hard. It's hard and to watch. And they just like, like make like, make disbelieving eye contact with you while they do this integral without like looking at the paper. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen mm-hmm. that done on a blackboard. <laughs> and then you also once you've got the bacon and Erdish numbers, you have to get your. Is it Iomi? Is it is the the trifecta now? The bacon, I, bacon I genuinely don't know. Because uh, um, we've there got was... Sabbat. Oh. I don't know. That might be a... Oh, yeah, the Sabbath number. Um, Because Tony Iommi was uh, the guitarist for Black Sabbath. And t- Tony Iommi has just been, like, you know, I think he just hangs around the studio waiting to lay down a guitar lick. Right, so you, you have to have him as your... Yeah, just do a. You know, he's been on like six hundred albums or something like right, that. Right, but you have to record probably at the studio he's at, where mm-hmm. he's like a studio mu- musician. I think. That makes sense. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. I will. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Lord Serrano, like the many, many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. You know, every time you you collapse the wave function, right, it goes goes one way. And it's like, well. Yeah. No, I really struggled with that as a kid. It was Mm -hmm. just like. Yeah. Every time you. you, Make a choice. Yeah. Well, it's not even that. Every time you do like the Z squared. (laughs) Of the wave function, right? To figure out its momentum in the z-axis, which is one of the non-commutating... I vaguely remember all of this. Hmm. People who like my podcast, hey, check it out, such as Rourke, who's learning to not watch End of Evangelion... (laughs) <laughs> uh, might enjoy the episode on Another Earth, the Brit Marling movie. Oh, right. That's the one where there's another, another Earth. Another Earth. Yeah, just like, <laughs> you know, it's right in the theater, it's right in the name. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, wait, are you telling people not to watch Ev- End of Evangelion? No. Oh, good. We're just watching it and talking about it. And mm-hmm. then if people decide not to watch it, then that's good. Good. I love End of Evangelion, except it kind of. You know, I think it's a very good theatrical experience, but it's also like to. extremely self-loathing, and I think that um, informs the characters in a way that isn't necessarily uh, consistent with their depiction in Evangelion. Yes, well, <sighs> comparing but... the series to the movie is difficult, especially with the amount of time between them Mm -hmm. and the stuff that happened with the last two episodes. Yeah. Like, the sequence where, what is it, eight minutes long, where Shinji gets told off by basically every other 
character in the series. Well, his like the the visuals are like all of the women's like necks, breasts, asses, mm-hmm. legs. Um cuz you know like he's being told off and all he can do is try to stare down people's shirts is so mean-spirited and so good. Like it's such a like comes from such a deep place of loathing for the people who like tell Shinji to just get back in the robot. I did uh send send my uh co-hosts a Shinji getting the robot meme mm-hmm. yesterday no Sunday because Ian mentioned a like the four kids uh intro for Neon Genesis Evangelion mm-hmm. uh which is a like Beastie Boys sound and meme video okay <laughs> uh and yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like maybe maybe we should have just given this to my friend who hasn't watched Ava and doesn't watch anime <laughs> that we made watch this movie. I need to find the ADV dubs of Evangelion. I used to have them all. Yeah. And then I got rid of them because I was like, well, whatever. I mean, I no longer require things. I shall disabuse myself. I will unburden myself of things. Uh-huh. And now I'm like watching the Netflix dubs. And they're, right? They're just missing a certain je ne sais quoi. The '90s had something. Like... Yeah, like, like when they're ha- uh, they're having that one conversation in the control room, and uh, one of the the um, ops people says to Misato, "You're looking worked to the bone," and Ritsko replies with Kaji's bone, and <laughs> Misato just screams, "Don't go there!" Or no, <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> Yeah. 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 She yeah. screams shut no, shut your face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was just funny. Yeah. I no. found it amusing. Get curious line is from the video without a sock of a suka from Germany. Everybody would be lost. Your country was responsible for the holographic map. <laughs> it, it rhymes with uh, Ray takes lots of naps. <laughs> I love Ava. <laughs> Me too. Best show ever, man. It's it's one of the shows of all time. Yeah. Uh, also, excellent litmus tests. It, it's like if you sympathized with the robots. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Replicants. The Blade Runner. <laughs> man, speaking of um, Ridley Scott joints... Saw Alien Romulus on Friday. No! It, I saw honest, the trailers it, this last week, even though I was trying not to, and I'm la 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 until I see it. It has some extremely good ideas. Good! And some extremely bad ideas. When you see it, I would love to talk with you about it. Please. Okay. Uh... Brownie points. I don't know if Gurn Lagan would be the follow up because we're Surely watching furry movies. Curry, right? hmm? uh, f- oh, Furry Curry? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think if, if of anything. But I also like, I'm really tempted to go into like OVAs to do like uh, Giant Robo the Day the Earth Stood Still, mm-hmm. which is one of the animes of all time. True. I really need to watch um, Utena. Yes, you do. It's, it's, yeah, it's you been just on, do. It's been, on, it's been yeah. free on YouTube for like mm-hmm. years now. Yeah. Like, uh, some of my favorite visual gags. Hmm. I didn't know Utena was kind of the origin of the, oh, thing. no, that's like, or is that much older with that's that old studio? Time. Okay, good. That's not even a studio thing. That's just like culturally, like. Oh, okay. The Ojosama. Yeah, that's like from theater. Okay, okay, okay. Right, yeah, because it's an aside. Right. Oh, the oh ho ho? No. Well, it kind of is, right? Like, it's. it's you're it's you're covering your face audience? with a fan. Oh. You're, you're, you're laughing in a big. Oh, okay. Uh, 
obvious way. Yeah, it's the evil villainous laugh. Hmm. Rich lady laugh. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're a high society lady, or you have lots of money. Hmm. And you're getting one over. Okay. Mwahaha. Mwahaha. Okay. It's fun. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, uh, so you, it, sorry, and like the dual function in case you're, it, the laugh cracks your makeup? That could be a thing, yeah. Okay. Oh. But it's great that, that it's not great. Uh, since there was a lot of classic Japanese theater at like the turn of the century, the 1900s, we have mm. recordings right actual like video of it we have some video and uh, audio it's like especially because they converted some of the more audio versions of things to radio okay neat is that like one of the things where you know the 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 overlap in history between certain things is both can be a lot wider and a lot shorter yeah. Then you think like Abraham Lincoln could have gotten a fax from a samurai warrior. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And that's because like Japan's closedness really preserved a lot of the culture. Hmm. They did some stuff. <laughs> they had prob they had some land wars in Asia. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Worked out of as well for them as for anyone else. Yeah. So they were Doing their own war stuff before the other war. Huh. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. Kabuki is where you get the samurai yell. I, I, I looked it up because I was curious about it. And apparently the, the yo yeah. noise in yo! Japanese theater. Yeah. It means basically what yo means yes. for us too, right? Yeah. It seems to be one of those noises. It's just a that weird noise make. you make when you show up. Yeah. It, it seems to be a universally understood noise humans can make. Yeah, and a lot of, uh, I mean, if you're speaking Japanese to a Japanese person, a lot of, like, the, the like, inflection stuff is the same as English. So if you're like, eh. Right, it's understood can... to be a question. Yeah. Okay. My favorite version is aya in Chinese, which is like, a, you know, like, are you fucking kidding me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of statement. But my mother makes that same noise from Cree. Does it mean anything in Cree, or is it just a noise? It's it's the same kind of like, no, no, we are not doing this noise. Uncle from Jackie Chan's Adventures. Yeah, yeah. that's a throwback. I'm gonna listen to the theme song now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Aya is very much the the thing you have just done has pissed me off kind of noise in much the same way that eh is kind of the way that Canadians say what I have just said. Is it not true? We should probably go live. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Talking Simulator, a show on the Loading Ready Run streams where Cameron and I take a critical look at the video games. Mm -hmm. What is art? Is <laughs> art worth making? How much money do you make? Art is when you make money from hanging a painting on the wall. You can own art? You can... Art is something that can be exchanged for goods and or services. If you would like to support this stream, you can do so at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Today, we're looking at far changing tides. I believe the second game in the far 
franchise. I've played the first one, but I did it on the Tilthy House streams. Hmm. Uh, it was very cute. Okay. It's not very difficult, but mm -hmm. very atmospheric, very pretty. Okay. So I would like to just vibe and jump around and move my bucket, and turn on my lights, and ding the bell. Sounds great. Uh, Gekyoryu in chat says, according to museums, you can't touch the art, but you find that the art can touch you. And Sonic says that's no good. Isn't that also a line from the Paul Verhoeven film Showgirls? I got halfway through that before they took it off Criterion. Oh. <laughs> I think it's showing up on Prime next. I just... I needed to watch it in chunks. <laughs> it's not a good film, but it might be a great film. It's amazing. It's it's visually incredible. Yes. Yeah. Uh, at the very least. And there's there's some subtext. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's also super text. There's, there's super text. Uh, I'm launching this game. So in the first game, you basically, you're roaming around on this boat. You got to get mm -hmm. the boat through doors. Okay. You got to open the doors to get the boat through the doors. Then you continue. Okay. You took the mouse away before I switched scenes. Sorry. Rude. Quite. I'm oh, yeah. Showgirls is a Paul Verhoeven joint. He went from God, flesh and blood flesh to and blood. Robocop to Total Recall to basic instinct to showgirls to starship troopers it's one of like the most incredible runs of film ever and they're all memorable and distinct yeah like the order of that might be might be a little upside down oh I'm moving scooting do flips and tricks. No, I just have direction. Do I go left? If I was scoring this, if I was responsible for the soundtrack for this, if you were, how do you not immediately just think, don't, don't write pyramid songs? Don't oh. write Pyramid Song. Don't write Pyramid. It's this the cannot... Donkey Kong underwater theme for me. Do not write Pyramid Song. Do not write Pyramid Song. I don't Fuck. know Pyramid Song. Really? Radiohead? Um, yeah. Which, it's, which album's it on? Uh, it's on Amnesiac. I haven't listened to that yet. Oh. Uh, I think and Amnesiac... stuff I haven't listened to, like the Kid A Amnesiac. Well, I did okay. the little art program thing they had. Right. Ooh, newspaper. It's them. No, it's just all gobbledygook, but it's a picture of like a castle. Yeah. That might be the thing to the left that I'm right next to. Hmm. Yeah, underwater ambience. That's the, oh. Anyway, the, the video for Pyramid Song is a diver uh, exploring oh. a, a sunken city, a submerged city. Uh, I could maybe do drive home. The, is it porcupine tree? Yeah. I think I got that on a recommendation from the mower. Uh, I'm currently listening to In Rainbows. Mm -hmm. That's good. Why can I not uppy? Uppy fast. Hmm. Now you uppy. All right. Okay, that's... I yeet myself. Mario 64 underwater. Yeah. I wonder what a video game would be like if you had actual human jumping distance. It's terrible. Yeah, I've, I've, I can only imagine yeah. that it's actually extremely frustrating and unfun. Think Pitfall, but worse. Ugh. Um, but I just climbed a ladder to get here. Did When did this text pop up? Yeah. Wee. Aw, why is there no butt slide? Are we too moody for butt slides?
I thought the music was diegetic. Hmm. Oh my god. You'll make me drag. Oh, it's just tap to start the interaction and then oh. tap again to cancel. You don't have to hold it. You don't have to hold it. Interactability teal yeah. is vibrant without being like intrusive. Parent and child drawing. Yeah. Oh, ladder. I didn't see the rung at the top. Hmm. I like this greenhouse. This yeah. entire structure. How much? I. Yeah. How much? How much for this? How much is rent here? Well, we've got two paintings. Just two paintings. Three paintings. Never mind. Mm. Do you ever, like, go back and watch Battlestar Galactica and think no. how much... <laughs> well... <laughs> mm. Oh, can I have this? I can have this! <gasps> I can take plant. this with me! Do not throw the plant in the water. I'm not. I'm taking it with me. Watch me gently drag the cart. Ooh. I might not. Oh, get to the yes, and then interact with that. Yep, that's an interaction button. All right. So in the in the first game, you could pick up certain things, and they would have locations you could attach stuff to your ship. Plants love water. Look what else is in the water. Debris. Debris is here. <gasps> uh, is this, do I go that way or am I getting in the water? I don't wanna, let me explore. In the water, is there another floaty boat for me? Can I take the plant? On. Yes. Safe. Just gonna fill her up. Definitely not this is salt causing or drag. Hey, this looks freshwater? salty. Both. It's both. Mm -hmm. In the event of emergency, prepare for a water landing. What does this button do? What do those things do? There are things that I can pull, and there's a picture of a boat. My boat. Oh. That's my boat. We're going to get right. that. That's currently inactive. Ladder is frustrating. All right. What is... I hit the plant. I mean, maybe we're supposed to flood that bottom section by attaching it to the... <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, the, the, the in valve? You think yeah. that's a valve and not a button? Might be. Okay, I'll, I'll try to pull this lever first. That's like the first thing that Oh, no, sucked. wait, there's a door. Now it's sucking. Okay, so you use oh, that to drain suck. the water. And then you'll probably be able to use the button to open the, the Better than Luigi. Boink. Doink. Ding. Ding dong. And then I have to flood this so that I can get up. Or... No! Planty! Planty! Oh, never mind. I just got... 
can't get it out. Water powers. Can I climb a ladder while I'm holding the plant? <gasps> oh no! Stuck here forever until it dies of lack of sugar. <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> Plenty of plants in the sea. No. Bert. <sighs> it followed you here. To what end? I'll save the next one. Ah! <laughs> yes. Oh, it's got a little yes. helmet. Yes. Yes. Can I go out this way? Is this the way out, or do I have to go back out the in way? Because it's is it unblocked? Yes. 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 All right. <gasps> uh, hello. Oh. Oh my God. That looks extremely safe. Woo. Woo. Woo! <laughs> ding ding! Well, no, no number. Nothing bad is ever inside vaults, right? Never. They're basically just loot caves. <laughs> no, uppy. I wanna go uppy. Oh, how dare. How dare. Anything? No. Is it because of the plant? Oh, mm -hmm. no, there's a floaty platform. All right. If I let go of the plant, it floats. Good, 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 good. Pull this out. Pull underneath the plant. Yes. So close! Alright. And this over to under the ladder. Meow. So fast. Speedy. Rescue mission accomplished. Spectacular. Zero casualties. No hit. Thank you for your service. <laughs> need to feminize all these nouns. You'll be my lookout, Planty. Put them up in the crow's nest? Yeah. They'll be safe from everything. It wouldn't let me interact with the... It grabbed this. I guess I jump. Planty was showing me the way. Hmm. Do I attach this to the hook at the back? Yes. See, I was not, in fact, a, a crimesman. <laughs> Hoist them, buckos. Oh, 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 oh. Do you ever look at the sails or the rigging of a ship Always. and think, like, this is just way too smart for me? Oh, no. I, I've i never, like, been able to figure out how it all works. All I know is that your main mast is directly over your keel, basically. In the middle? Yeah. Yeah. 
because the keel is like prevents you from going side to side, right? Yeah. So it will. Wait, side. Um, oh, what is it called in linear algebra where you just like it will only process the the x value of any wind, right? It will only translate the. Uh. It zeroes out the other, like the y and z of anything else. Like if your sail is polarizing, projecting, yeah, the the x projection of it. Oh, I can raise my flag, I think. Ooh. Is that what that? Meant? I think it's teal, so I'm gonna jump. Nope. Whatever the top bit of the rope is is nothing. Hmm. Uh. Why can I not inside the boat? Yeah, can you not drop down to that, to the helipad? Oh. Oh. I get it. It shows me when I have optimal wind. Oh. And I have to like chase it. As it moves. So Nagoki says people that figured out you can just use sails as airfoils instead of getting pushed were mad. Mm. I'm Not getting just debris. airfoils, they're complex interlocking I might be going airfoils. too fast in this... Environment? Have you beached the ship? No. It's just making bad clumpy noises. Oh! I'm still controlling the... Yes! No. Uh-oh. No one could have prevented that. Took a critical hit to the engines. No court would convict me. Safe. Well, um, no, and uh, oh, 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 yes, no, yes. It's normal for it to do like that. I guess, can you unhook the thing? The cable in the back? Um, doink. And will that, like, allow it to collapse? I have to let go of the thing. And then I have to pull this out. So I have to push it in like a drawer lock oh, button. Oh, okay. All right, so push. Locks. All right, and then maybe go slow and look ahead a bit. And that'll give me enough time. Oh, oh, yeah, I can, I can really look ahead. So if I'm at the back, oh, what's that stuff? Debris. We forge ahead. We forge ahead? All right. Out. Real clumpy. Oh, 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 no, 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 stop, 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 stop.
No earth shattering kaboom. Mm -hmm. Let's get this up. Uh, ooh, what's that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I want to climb up so that I can see Stoof. Speaking of submarines, do you ever wonder what USS Jimmy Carter's Mission 7 actually was? No. Okay, just me. On target. Oh, oh, catch, 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 catch. Daytona. Let's go away. So they named a submarine after Jimmy Carter. So what year is this? Uh, I think it was awarded in 2020 or 2021. It was the last of the Seawolf class submarines. Oh. And it's like 100 feet longer than the other two boats in its class. Mission was 20, 2013, sorry. Okay, I'm taking that with me, of course. Oh, shit, move, sorry. All right, this time gadget. Uh oh, no, stay, stay with me. Don't leave me. Let's fix our Sparky. Yay! I'm putting this inside the boat. Ooh. Maybe I'll have to get in here. Maybe not on something that looks like a hatch, but... And I want a boat. You want a boat? I want a boat. I wonder how to stop the boat. If I want to. Is there anything that looks like a break? I'm gonna go to the back end. Uh, I'm gonna swim underneath. I can go real fast. Because there's like a hatch in the bottom, and I'm wondering if that opens the... The anything. No, no, nothing. <gasps> There's a viewing thing. Yeah. All right. No, nothing. All right. Hmm. Hey, we stopped. Oh, maybe it's because I got off. Oh, maybe. Um. Do we want to take a break? Oh, wow, yeah, it's totally time for a break, isn't it? Let's do that. We'll do that. We'll be oh. back after these messages. messages. Don't listen to the messages. Messages are wrong. Back at it again. I have a Rice Krispie finger. Ashley's Rice Krispies are so good. Mm -hmm. And she said the secret is to double the vanilla. Hmm. The worst vanilla experience I ever had was my first girlfriend's parents went to Mexico. Okay. And they asked me if I wanted anything. Right. And I was like, vanilla. Yeah. I would like you to get me some real vanilla while you're there. And? They came back with a blue ribbon bottle of vanilla extract, artificial vanilla extract that they found at a Mexican Walmart. And we're like, we don't know why you wanted this. We have this at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I... We were both confused and annoyed. 
Vanilla shouldn't smell so good mm. and taste so disgusting. I love how vanilla tastes. The, the artificial stuff. Oh, the artificial stuff is horrid. But I do like how it has... A like chemical? You, well, it has some use cases. Oh, for sure. Because, right? again, like, it, the smell is the major factor. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, actual vanilla. You From use the bean? In, yeah, that you use... That you would use good. without, like, in something that isn't being cooked, like ice cream. Ooh. Right? But vanilla extract, which has a lot of alcohol in it, tapped is, like, the, the, the solute. Solute? Or the solvent, sorry. Right? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Is used in baking. Yes. Right, where all the alcohol is driven off. And usually, like, it's, you know, cookies and stuff where mm -hmm. you've got a lot of sugar content, so it doesn't really matter what the vanilla tastes like because you're not putting a lot in. Mm -hmm. Animals. Yeah. I think. I saw an elk. Yeah. Caribou? Caribou. They got those white butts. Yep. Love it. It's mournful. Beautiful wasteland. I like the um the bells as the the lead because it kind of like implies something a little mechanical. Hmm. Right. You have the strings carrying like um, tension, really. Tension. Yeah. And texture. Then texture. This feels like an apt soundtrack for a sailing experience. Mm hmm Especially with those big clouds. Like, mm -hmm. dang. Oh. What's this? What is this? What's all this, then? Stopping, am I stopping? I might be stopping soon. Let's reduce power. I agree, actually. One third ahead full. One third one one third? You want me to go down one third? Oh, I don't even oh, know. Damn. It just seems oh, like damn. one of those. I don't know if I can get there. I think I can only go to half. Oh. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere this way. <laughs> I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll zigzag it. Yeah, we'll just row with the sails. Yeah, I'm pushing us ahead slowly, waggling back and forth. You can see my little body exerting itself. I'm burning so many calories and I haven't eaten today. Our back is just going to be like, we're going to look like a Dark Souls character. We're going to look like an Olympic rower. Reflections are really interesting. The kind of grid yeah. from all the ripples combining. Yeah. There are two, like, domains of reflection. One mm -hmm. shows the shore and the other shows the sky. Kind of reminds me of the diorama at Miniature World of, like, all of Canada along the railroad. country. Maybe I should be like going underwater more often. Like it's vibrating right now and I don't know why. Earthquake? Oh, earthquake! That's why earthquake happened. focused on my controlling the camera and my little body down there. <laughs> oh. Mm, 
loading screen. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Daytona. Good job. Nice. What we got here? What do we have? Ooh. A, mm, a railway stop? Yeah. Looks like we're going to have to move that tanker car. Looks like we're going to have to move that tanker car. Either up or down. Probably down. Mm. I'm going to wait till we hit it, because then I can jump over it. All we need to do is drain the oil from it so it sinks. <laughs> Are we just going to bonk into it? Yeah. Very softly. Turns out it's actually full of sulfuric acid. Yeah, we can't read the hazard stickers from uh, up here. They should have considered that. Which you thingy. Probably have to drag it over here to get over a thing. Yes. Here we go. Nope. I cannot boost while I'm pulling. That's the word. Gotcha. All right. Machine. We've got fuel. God. There being an oil slick on water has to be one of the scariest things that you could be in for a little while. Like, this is a liquid. I sink in it. And it's flammable. Okay, I cannot get in there. I cannot jump through this hole that looks like it's a hole. Weird. So but do this... we bring... I threw the thing in oh, the thing. Oh, it was full of fuel. Yes. Now we have... Oh, and I'm... How convenient. A bellows. Oh, oh. Uppies. Hello. Oh, this is the engine. How long are we going to be on this ride? Do I need to bring my plant? Mm, they'll be okay in there. Let's do an explore. What we got going on ahead? Ooh. Somebody's suitcase. Map. Oh. Numbers. Coordinates. A formula. I'm taking that suitcase. Absolutely. And all this gas. Can you attach it to the things and it will carry it for you? Yeah. <laughs> I gave up too soon. There we go. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Grace. Nice. Graceful. <laughs> uh, which way do I want to choo choo? cannot move camera hmm oh there's a thing we gotta hitch a thing to a thing oh it looks like a recovery vehicle yeah and yeah open open the, open the hatch open the hatch cannot jump over that so that's a dead end I'm just taking the fuel with me do, do, do. Let's go to the right. Yeah, I guess we go and get the recovery vehicle used to hoist up the tanker. Is there like a brake or something like that? Oh no, it just had to be enough. There's even a little handy picture on the wall to show us how we're supposed to do the thing. <laughs> wonder who this is for. <laughs> right. 
a chunk. Now we go the other way. Come on. Shoot you. Full steam ahead. I miss the big um, steam engine wheels from Prince George. Mm. My childhood home was very near the rail yard. Mm. So I got to listen to it at night. I love the smoke, by the way, being caught under the, the overhead. Yeah. Atmosphere. I wonder if we only have so long to solve this puzzle before we succumb to carbon monoxide poisoning. We've got lots of um, ventilation. <laughs> the entire side's gone. True. Cha-ching. All right, I'll just let that, I guess, rest. Can I, can I Disengage. stop it? Does that yeah. do anything? Put it into neutral. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways. Let's get the stuff. Now the crane game. That's not what I thought was going to happen. Why do they have the module for this? Huh. Maybe universal battery? Oh, what's this? Stuff? That looks like a supermarket turkey. And another suitcase. Yeah. These are come with me. On the off chance that someday I can go home with them. Sweepstakes. Looks like a large pack of chicken nuggets. Mm. A really large pack. <laughs> I thought they had caught on fire or something. <laughs> Come on. I want to go uppies. Why can't I not go uppies? This is rude. The Can children I call go? out for uppies. I'm children. <laughs> then where can I go? Do I have to jump over the train that's ahead of me? Je ne sais pas. As tall as it gets. Yeah, if I do like a big jump, is that what it wants? Maybe we move the car, maybe there's enough fuel left to move the cars a little to the right, and then we can fall down the hole that the crane went through. Yeah. Is it actually going to run out of fuel? Or is it just permanently... No, no it's going down. Yeah, it's going down. We're not moving. Hmm. There we go. Oh, we can just... Oh. Big brains. Found it. What is that? The battery. It powers our engine. Okay. Boom. Now we're super strong. We can take on any. Oh, maybe this uh, a different solution. <gasps> oh, luggage. Block. Oars. <laughs> I to speak the chat. Um, how do I get the luggage from the train? I think it is now up there forever. No, I can get back up. I got up once. 
and do it again. Where did my floaty go? Oh, it stole it from you. Oh my God. Never before has a game wronged me so strongly. That rhymed. <laughs> that didn't sound forced at all? Whoever designed yeah. this this ooh, ship, ooh, ooh. this boat, had like an impeccable six-year-old's understanding of like cross-section diagrams. Mm -hmm. It just rules. Is this right. It's, yes. it's like the life aquatic cross-section of the, not the Calypso. I forget the name of the ship in Life Aquatic. But the one where uh, it's just like, this is the clubhouse, and this is the movie theater, and this is the... Life Aquatic, Steve Zizou. It was a play on the Calypso? It, it, yeah. Go down. Yes. Does this work? It's not... Mm. The Belafonte? I guess it's not water. What is this? Yes, uppies. Oh, out the front, hey. All right, can I get... Okay. I think that look had just gone forever. At least until we get the boat across. Uh, mm. But it might be a long walk. Ramming speed. How do I engage? It was the Belafonte. Okay. Is this? No, that's that. It's this spigot thing. Oh, do I want to flood my carriage? Is that what it wants? No. No. Hmm. Do we need to fill that other compartment with water for steam? No. The other compartment with water for steam. That sounds like something. Which compartment? The one here with the gauge. That's where the coal goes and oh, burns okay. when we hit the bellows. That's how it works. It works like the train. Durr. Gotcha. Do it slowly so that I can get Bobby. I hate how the um uh, I'm not gonna Bobby. How the smokestacks are trunked in front of the sails. Why? Oh, yeah, we just like blacken them with soot. Oh. Right? It's like how have you ever seen photos of the Kuznetsov? No. It's the Russian aircraft carrier. But it's new like flight control radar and yeah. like surface scan radar assembly at the front is right. behind its smokestacks so they're caught like they're just covered in like cement. huh it's just an impeccable design decision oh got too hot oh maybe oh. that's what i need to do is cool down the thing or do i have to touch it i guess that re-engages it Maybe the water stops the reaction? Yes. Oh, yeah, you can just emergency quench it. Yes. That's that. I can probably sail now. have a name uh i think chat was suggesting obvious plant <laughs> oh my god
How could I have been so wrong? Clearly there was no wind here. What if I waggle it? Waggle it. No? Okay. Hmm. wonder if there's a way to see while the thing is down if there's wind. Maybe the flag oh, is that well, indicator. Maybe. Because it sits down there. And it ain't doing much. Hmm. So I'll keep an eye on it. Steam is the new hotness? All right. No, I'll just look ahead. I like that it gives me a little fire window for... Yeah, yeah, so you can enjoy the scenery yeah. while still maintaining things. I mean, as someone in chat points out, one of the reasons captains in the age of sail didn't want to transition to steam with black and the nice white sails. Right. I, I've also... Uh, heard that, you know, another one of the reasons ships were largely still made out of wood and yep. having an enormous, like... Boiler? Yeah, boiler and and uh, 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 furnace would, like, you know, it's understandably not necessarily the kind of thing you want on a, on a wooden ship. Huh. Like a galley stove was already kind of like... Oh, maybe mm. I have to go diving for your luggage. Oh, more things to burn? I mean, there's also storage, but I think there this might be. Just a way to avoid the player getting stuck. That would make sense, but maybe next time I see some just floaty stuff in the water, like suitcases, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll pull the stuff out of storage. Should be enough. Oops, I'm still hopping. Good. Now I get to hop and. I like that there's the tiny little screen bob when I hop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. That's cute. Oh. Oop. What's this? Am I gonna hit this? Point. It's mine now. Be gone. Uh. Oh, a lamp, a lamp, a lamp, a lamp. What is happening here? What is. Interact, interact, interact. Uh, I'm gonna cool it down. Okay. Is that underneath? Is that like a radar? Like fish star? ceiling? No. Oh god. Come with me. How would you not just hang out down here the entire time? Me? Like, the giant window uh, being able to look straight down? Like, as long as the temperature was okay, mm -hmm. you would not find me anywhere else. I mean, you could just set up, like, a, a cushion fort on, on that greenhouse with, like, a sleeping bag on it. Debris. Uh oh. Oh, so much fuel. I should not die. So, do we think the machine picks these up as it comes across them? Maybe. That is our Does it experiment. Have a scoop? What were they called Why on the? Why the scoop? 
the the Enterprise and cells, the Bassard scoops? Yes. So they could scoop a nebulier. Okay, more fuel. You, chicken nuggie. Chicky Nuggie is as good as kerosene, apparently. Huh. All right. And go. Slowly. Yeah, now do we just automatically, like, Pac-Man these things, or...? Are they going to get shoved along? Or did we just annihilate them? Yeah, are they gone? Or are they ours? So they wouldn't have been this far back. Oops. No special thing. Yeah, I might have just killed them all. No, oh, there no, they are. Yeah, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. So, I guess I still have to just pull them up one by one. Come on, get on the ladder. Precious carbohydrates. Does our boat have a name? Um, Free Willy. You asked. I did. Mm. Is there only? I thought there was another thing. There it is. Do, 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 do. Boink. Unparalleled hydrodynamic form. <laughs> the shuttlecock. <laughs> down and go back a bit and then deal oh. with the spark. Yeah. I didn't see anything on the surface. I'll check the front of the boat. A majestic dolphin. Come on. Echo the dolphin. Come on. <laughs> we can't. We can't. I can't jump <sighs> unless I'm like next to something I can jump on. The anti buzzing device. Watch as I hold it near the thing. Well done. Marvel at <laughs> what science has done has allowed us this day. A 
See, my instinct would be to put it into the teal. Put it into the teal. Right? Like, I, I understand that that's a temperature gauge, but... Oh. I don't know if... I don't I mean, know if the teal zone on optimum. the gauge is... Is that optimal or is that looks... danger? Oh, because it's shaking. Because, you know, the Carnot equation tells us higher temperature leads to better efficiency. Right. But, you know, higher temperature also is not something that's really bounded by any constraint. Uh, unless you again. count the material that your Oops. boiler is made out of. And the warp core! That uh -oh. was not me. That was not me. I've had to vent the warp core for about 20 minutes now. It's not break time yet. Dang. I'll just continue venting plasma then. I wonder how much those places are per month. They look kind of cool. I would live there. Uh, this seems like a place with a current of some kind. Oh, yeah. I wonder why that is. I wonder where we're going. What's happening here? I wonder if we can stop. We might need to do that. Considering things. Well, I mean, this is just free propulsion, right? Got us loaded up. It's not even playing music. <laughs> Maybe the game's nervous, too. All the musicians inside the computer are like... <laughs> watching in trepidation. Waterfall? <clears throat> Oh, oh, we high centered a boat. Oh, wow, the water's just draining. Or we're going up. <gasps> Are we flying? It's usually good when this happens, right? That's usually a good sign when, when all, all the water, water goes, goes away. away. Is that good? Well, we want water. Right. The market has spoken! <laughs> High demand! <laughs> Woo! There's a fire sale on water <laughs> down at the ravine. <laughs> you ever feel like, like Daffy, or like, like Wily Coyote? with the shadow growing around you and you take out the little umbrella? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What we got going on? Oh no. Oh, that seems... Oh no. My stuff. Oh no. <gasps> well, look who decided to stay. All right, you I'm came crawling crap. back. <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger boat. The most dangerous thing in the water here is me. I never asked how I got this plant. I don't want a boat so bad. <laughs> what kind? Sailboat. Sailboat. I think I know oh, a guy. Up, up at front. Up the... at front, also sparking? Yep. Sparking! All right. Apparently I'm not allowed to have a boat though.
what if you had friends who had a boat? Then it wouldn't be me having a boat. Right. But I would get to be on a boat. Yep. Yeah, I might know a guy. I would have a big, like, knit sweater. <gasps> yes. You'd be standing on the prow with your morning coffee. Yeah. Maybe some kind of pipe. <gasps> some kind of pipe. <laughs> <laughs> no. like a Garfield (laughs) (laughs) that you got from Etsy. (laughs) A bubble pipe. Yeah. (laughs) Or just a Garfield pipe. A pipe pipe shaped like Garfield. Made out of glass. (laughs) Do you pack it with lasagna? (laughs) (laughs) It's the only way you can feel. (laughs) Everything's working. Everything's fixed. Everything's lovely. Le- okay, we, we just need to back it up to our rear hall section. Uh, I We need to dock with our own ass. I, I think our ass is permanently... Run aground? But that's how A-wall. we steer. Um, <laughs> this game goes... We need this, though. It seems important. You know, it, it was just holding us back. I can try. I think we have enough fuel for this. All right, we're in reverse and go. Choo choo. We are making so much progress. Okay, riddle me this, chat. If the saucer section was meant to be detached in combat, why did they put the two large linear phaser arrays on the saucer section? My only questions have to do with the interface system used to actually activate the separation. Right. Okay. Console. Hmm. Right? Like, what's going on there? Was this always here? Hmm. Anyways, I'm burning, I'm burning daylight. <laughs> it will not let us go backwards. Oh, okay. But it will let us go forward at full speed. Damn the torpedoes. Damn them. Are you a coxswain or a bosun? I mean, <laughs> there are two types. You know, what day is it, I guess? <laughs> oh, there's a, okay, it doesn't have a dot. It doesn't want us to go? Is that what it's saying? I don't know. I don't know what this thing is. Boat telling me boat. It's giving boat. There's nothing down there. Or there. I'm ready for you. Can't pop up if I'm standing on you, can you? Mm. Huh. Yeah, as it turns out, if you just block the emergency vent. It's never caused any explosions in the history of <laughs> vents. <laughs> we just taped down the button that said override, override scram. <laughs> All right, we 
we gotta get somewhere n soon because we're nearly out of fuel we're basically out of fuel we're at maybe one fuel you can use the hose to turn it okay i'll try here i'll get it into the it's, it's doing temperature so I'll, I'll drag the hose over there oh yeah that works I can hose it down. All right. Yeah. Good call. So we are building temp, but I don't really have to watch to maintain stuff. It takes forever. Also, were the dolphins in the saucer section or in the star drive section? After separation, were I they But they were near one? the cargo bay, weren't they? Maybe. What is this? Uh. Vendor? <laughs> were cetacean? Were the cetacean officers evacuated to star drive? Is this where the triplets of Belleville lived? Ooh. Ooh. No hamburger. Slowly, please. Thank you. Uh, I can get up. The first time I watched the triplets of Belleville, um, watching the grandmother pursue the steamship across the ocean in a rowboat, mm -hmm. a friend leaned over to me in the theater and said, she's a real son of a bitch. And I was like, yeah, yeah, she's, do not That's, get in this woman's way. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll stick with you. Yeah. But, you know, truth, actually, in that moment, she was a real son of a bitch. <laughs> Tall ladder, box. Thank you, box. Oh, go over there? Okay. Working on it. Oh, there's an entire other module. Is this a shipyard? Well, it seems like a, yeah, kind of a dock cliff village. Maybe they build submarines here, which <gasps> is sort of kind of what our thing is a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Like that. <sighs> little speed ship. Unspeakably tight. I bet it goes so fast. <gasps> it, I, can I grab that plant? <laughs> Sorry to continue on this tangent, but I loved in Lower Decks that the dolphins were kind of sex pests. Like dolphins? Yeah, like dolphins. People are like, why, why are these here? Nobody likes them. Crackles. Got a little radio. Let me wiggle them bunny ears. Oh, no, it's cables. We got an antenna somewhere. Mm. Uh, ooh. Raise the antenna. Yes. Get better signal. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, broadcasting to you live. We must erect Derek. 
I've never seen a more erect Derek. Requires teams of men with guy wires. Supervisors. Ah! Just game over. Swingers are supposed to do that. <laughs> Speaking of which, is it break time yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's, let's go on break, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Are we live yet? Yep. Awesome. Hey, everyone. We're back. Let's Hello. resume. Uh, yes, I have to take the fix-it tool down for the sparky mess. Up. Up or down? Down? Ha-ha! <laughs> Left is up. Nice. <laughs> the other <We> elevator. Have, <laughs> we have parsed the system. Yeah. Nothing can go wrong. Now that we know how the machines work. Ooh, implicit storytelling. Ooh. Lore, lore, we're getting lore. Five figures. With adulating crowds or perhaps a mob? I don't, I don't think the crowds are adulating. I think there's just crowds. Oh. Oh, and then nine figures declaiming something as storms tear the world asunder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, construction. construction. Construction overseen by two figures. Thump. Thump mean. Bottom floor? <laughs> I guess. Sure. If you want to be like that. I can only be like that. That's my only function. This is my only way of being. <laughs> Do you have mm -hmm. to be like that? Well, mm. <laughs> as it turns out. Uh, I still have. I can either be like that or switched off. I have the thing up. Do I? Am I going to bust the. Oh, no. It took it down for me. Convenient. Yes, we will install oh. a new ass on our boat. You're right. It is a boat ass. Upgrade. A new rudder. New boat of the United States. Now imagine you knew how boats worked and you would just be like, Ugh, boats don't this way. You can't just. <laughs> you can't just install a new ass on your boat. No. Oh. Brazilian boat lift. Lower. We're taking, we're taking a section from our midships. <laughs> This correct? Oh, am I dropping it out? Oh, we no. have to like even it out. Do I have to even it out or? Oh, before I can hit the button. Uh, a little bit. Or do I have to dump it? I think we have to figure out some way of lighting both sides. It's up and down the full thing, and then this one is just left and right. I'm, gonna... I'm trying to look. Is it aligned? Jenny Fuchsia, is that like, is it moving day in Boston because like piles of people who are extremely intelligent are moving into Harvard and MIT? All right, now everything's kosher. That was the, the way to do it. Okay. Oh. We're quite sleek now, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Be a dragonfly. Our, our hydroform. Our length 
that where's, length to beam r ratio. Where's Planty? Planty was on the butt. Planty is now indoors. Planty is now the most indoors <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> ah! Thump. Huh. Oh, good. Plenty phase actually... through the ground. Yes, and we have spots for decorations now. Nice. Ooh, all right. Cosmetics. All right. Yes. Cosmetics. Yep. My favorite photo from the war in Ukraine is the one of the um, Russian. What is it? It's an artillery radar that they drove into a low overpass uh -huh. and just crumpled the entire thing like tin foil. Tin foil. Yeah, it's like I don't know, you know, th this big vehicle with a radar mounted on a truck, right? And right. It's like twelve feet tall, and they drove it into a ten foot overpass, and so there's just a bunch of like Russian soldiers walking around it, like with their hands on their foreheads, pointing at it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Module. Oh. Hello. Candy's inside. It's a kinder surprise. It didn't let me eat the shell. Must be an American kinder surprise. Right? Decorating, decorating. Important it's part of the game. No, ladder. Yeah. Go in the hole. Dirt. Dirt. So many lighting fixtures. Mm -hmm. All right. So that there's stuff in the hole, right? And it was covering something. Ooh. Well. Well, big button. Why would this be how that opens? Um, maybe it wasn't always flooded like this. Likely story. Kind of like how flight operations on an aircraft carrier are directed from, like, at belly? least partially from that little, like, sunken bunker on the flat top. All right. Everything seems okay. Last year, the state put out a PSA saying, together we can not drive a truck into a bridge, and they almost made it through the first week of September. Amazing. That's like that Onion article from Obama's first presidential run, uh -huh. where it was just like, Obama drastically reduces scope of Plan for America after visit to area Denny's. Ooh, big waves. Ooh, hell yeah. Man, I would be so good on a boat. A uh, boat? Should I just not look outside <laughs> for this no, part? It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. Oh, sails. Get out of here. Yeah, we need a uh, we need a clipper bow, or maybe a, a an Atlantic bow. Steam button? In the style of... Oh, you mean the knifey part that cuts the water. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, it's something that you would see on... Get that deep kill. Royal Navy ships and also Kriegsmarine ships. Or what What was the First World War German Navy called? Kaiser Marine, maybe? Yeah. But, like, but not on American ones. Ooh. 
which meant that American ships tended to have a rougher time in the Atlantic and the North Sea. Mm -hmm. Kaiserlich Marine. Kaiserlich Marine, right. Kaiserlich Marine. Hmm. Thanks, Drakenafel. Maybe I have to wind and paddle at the same time. I don't know. We're going okay. I don't feel urgency per se. I don't necessarily know that we have to, you know, Be get anywhere. much further in the game. I don't yeah. know how long this game takes. It's probably like a three to five hour based on the the first one. Like really mm -hmm. contained little thing. I didn't get nearly enough time to spend decorating my boat the first time. Hmm. Took you six hours? Okay. Yeah. So we're probably close to half. Hmm. Well, or we are approaching half. We are gamers, professionally. Oh, and yeah. And we are combining the, the, the might functions the of might our two gamer brains. Gamer brains. Which are strictly additive, I believe, for the purposes of playing video games. I thought it was an exclusive or. Uh, that sounds too complex. <laughs> Multiplicative. <laughs> Multiplicative. You have to take the cross product of our gamer brains. One of us is, has, a, has a, a normalized vector, and the other one's got some sort of scalar. Oh, God. Then we have to take the dot product. To figure out which direction we're going. Mm hmm Yeah. Why does it have a Z component? All right, all right. This time... I'm dealing with that trash. One of these times we're not going to let get, go of that hook and it'll just like, the, the, the cable will retract and we'll see our figure like on the horizon slowly dropping. Mm -hmm. Just wanna see. No! <laughs> Sucked into the beast's belly. <laughs> All right. I had a dream where that happened. Looks like that's not for us. Mm. No secrets inside. No gooey center. Wait. We have to climb up and get the... I... There we go. Fixed it. Thank you for modeling those mechanics, whoever. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, huge shout out to like how physical and like tactile this is. Oh yeah. Oh, one of these again. Wonder who that's for. Boop. Worried about the sails hitting stuff that's immediately in the background. <laughs> Movies should bong. Yeah. They should first off have the bell that goes the dingy dongy. And then when you hit them, they should sound hollow. American detected. <laughs> oh, rain? Mm -hmm. Oh, worm. Oh, worm. Is this just all bad? No, no, no I get, I get some wind. Yeah, we're grid. Grid? We're getting <laughs> gridded by the grarm. No, we grid. Modeling of the mechanics. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. 
I was wondering why everything were kind of was mounted on hooks. Maybe let's not put the mast up. Uh, we got luggage. So I've got two juices for the. Nope. Admiral Halsey, take us into the storm. <laughs> Definitely don't want that. I thought I put the tools in that spot, but I put it up here. It'll fix them up. Definitely won't lose it there. No siree. Wouldn't be me. Another convenience is that it kind of sticks you to the, um, platform when you're down on it. Mm. You have to like really try to move off of it. You're not just ending up somewhere else. <laughs> Without explosion. <sighs> Batten down the hatches. in themselves. Yeah, yeah, if it's not yeah. going to, like... Yeah. Fine. The disrespect. I'm just gonna keep this out here. It'll That's... be fine up here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I'm out of fuel, so... Oh, there's a light on top. That's convenient. Yeah. I'm just gonna climb this three-story structure and, uh... Jump off! through the storm. Look at that. Yeah. Surely we won't get struck by lightning again before the end. No, no, no. It wouldn't do that to us. No. No, no, no.
never strikes twice in the same spot. Yeah, exactly. Good thing we're moving. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we about to high center ourselves? On some rocks again? Yeah. Are we in or a in reef? A sandbar? Looks normal. I wonder, do do boats typically have a deep fryer in their mess? They can. What what do you do when you start rolling? Do you, do you, like, do they have a solid, like, hatch they cover? I assume so. Yeah, there must be a lid, right? Because, yeah, I, I assume that the USS Gerald Ford provides French fries. Yeah, exactly. For, for its crew. Right? Like, I, I, I assume you don't get American 19-year-olds to go to sea without an abundance of chicken nuggy, nuggies. So, yeah, uh, ceiling uh, lid. Well, that's a wall. Um, I'm trying to remember, because I went on the USS Midway. Oh, no it's a shit. museum in San Diego. Cool. And I don't remember the kitchen. Like, I remember one of the um, docents took us back into the hydraulics that operate the lift. Ooh. Which was just, like, just big pneumatic tubes oh, in the man. back the back rooms. Like, you know, I'm not a huge fan of American imperialism, but an aircraft carrier is just a cool big machine, right? Mm-hmm. I went on the Joko cruise and mm -hmm. got the the uh, tour. It's the something of Holland was the name of the boat, hmm. but uh, More that included spice. that included the kitchens with like the uh, like chef maps of what the dishes were supposed to look like. Oh, cool! For plating and etc. So we got a hook, we got a button, and we got a switch. And we gotta fix them up thing. So let's. Mm hmm. This'll work. Oh, yeah. It's happening. We can do it. Please don't come back up. Uh, maybe I need to get something down to the ship, though. Wouldn't that be funny? doing something. All right, I'll go in this building. Oh, hello. Oh, they bake them in ovens rather than frying them. Oosterdam? Yes, it was the Oosterdam. Have to hook the thing into the hooky thing? Dead end? Or do I go around? Not go around, so hook the thing into the thingy. Ow! <laughs> you know, that's the first time I've seen myself land, uh, so. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that? Oh, heavy go down. Interesting. Interesting. Wink. Thud? No? Goodbye. Oh, no, we're just down here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, back up the ladder then. Oh, interesting. That's, that map, like the orange section on the map is a projection mm -hmm. out from it. It's mounted on a spoke. 
Yeah. Now I can't get across. Oh, I've got to suck water out to get the thing to go up because I uh, need to go up so that it can like pull the piston up. Well, I, I have to get up to the. Oh, I can't even. Hmm. What's the order of operation here? I got the thing down. I can. So I wanted to pull it up here mm -hmm. so that I could hop and or Hit at least go across. Right. So how do we open that hatch? Well, the thing going down did that. Am I supposed to latch it from the thing outside and swing it out? Ow! Oh. It's fine. I don't need knees or a face yeah. or most of my spine. That seems too far. This doesn't make any sense to me. No. So, hmm. 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 Yeah, what does it want? What can I... Do I need to use the hose from my ship? Do I have to go back down there for the suck? Maybe? I believe the ladders on the right do not go up to the side that I want. Hmm. High enough, at least. Yeah. I mean, I suppose it's possible that we goozled ourselves, but, like, modern puzzle games don't usually allow for that. It doesn't make any sense that they would allow that, so there's got to be something available. Maybe I just have to go through the hole with the thing. Mm-hmm. Just gave up too soon. Uppy. We'll just not, not comment on how that hose clipped through the platform. Mm -mm. Not relevant. Not relevant. Nope. Sailing away. Something about an open shore. Interesting. Interesting. I'm for this. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on yet, but. Uh, uh... Space laser. Turbine. We're gonna go see God. We're going to the moon. I can't let go. And back down. <laughs> Thump, land directly on our face. All right, let's go down then. Juice it up. It's another battery for our boat, which I think makes us go through cliffs then, I guess. Interesting. But yeah, I have to get the hook. Oh, is, maybe that'll activate the the, the no, let me through, ro let me through. revolving go. section at the front. The revolving section at the front. Yeah, yeah. Boat go stronger, better, mm -hmm. faster. Wait, is the hook out here already? Amazing. Amazing. Where is it? 
What a delightful quality of life thing. Where is it? I found it. Nice. <laughs> it was in the passage. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Ooh, when we get home, or when when I get home today, I get to watch the Civ Seven. Um, Spoiler thing. Yeah. Announcement. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited because a friend of mine is the creative director on it, or the narrative director on it. Does your friend have a name? Uh, Cat. Cat Manning. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Friend. Mutual. Known tweeter. Yeah. Wait, other way. Down. Embargo, embargo also broke on, broke on it, so there's a ton of streamer coverage on Civ 7 too. I'm going to miss having Poundmaker as a leader, even though it's, you know, problematic. I did it gentle. Hmm. We can do the Dark Souls slide down the ladder. MLG! What do? I'm gonna push a button. I'm gonna push a button. Button. No, that's a tube. Uh, steam. Oh. Jimmy. Yeah, fill the tank. Oh, we going down. Oh, <gasps> sugar. It's a ballast tank. Oh. We, we are a submarine. We are a submarine. Hell Everybody. yeah. James Hell to the yeah. Bond. We turned our car into an underwater vehicle at no cost. And every convenience. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Rays and schools of fish. This Good. is unspeakably sick. Taking the bongo through the planet core. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going to spend the rest of the stream dissociating. <laughs> Goodbye. What else can we burn? When there's nothing left to burn. Well, maybe, maybe I can find something? It does say that there's debris on sonar. Give me a hole. Come on. Walk around. Ow! I wonder if I should go home and watch The Abyss too. I was just thinking that. <laughs> it's like, this is just like The Abyss. <laughs> really go up yeah, the... go up to the moon pool. <laughs> yeah, and get smacked in the face by the hatch. Mm. Uh, <laughs> clearly. Just like, yeah, James Cameron cre came up with a list of all the things that can possibly go wrong and then hired that many actors to perform in his, in his film. <laughs> What are all the things that can go wrong? Okay, we need this many characters plus one. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're busting Ramming through. speed. I'm gonna lift us up a this little bit. This is a load-bearing debris field. Upies a little bit. There we go. Oh. oh. There we go. I can 
control the horizontal and the vertical. Can you believe that? It's everything I've wanted. The other day I was like, you know, some misfiring part of my 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 completely degraded brain was like, hey Cameron, do you remember the Outer Limits TV series? And I was like, well, of course I do. I was like, mm. do you remember the, 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 the Light Brigade episodes? Or not the Light Brigade, but like the ones where humanity was locked in a genocidal war with a vastly superior alien species. Uh -huh. And it featured like a bunch of what turned out to be Stop, reasonably well-known actors. Oh no, no, it's okay. They can, no, they... no, 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 no. There's stuff. There's stuff. Yeah, yeah. It had Will Wheaton, but also, as it turns out, um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Nicole De Boer, and um, uh, the guy who played the T1000, and Agent Doggett on the X Files. Yeah, Graham Greene was in it. Mr. Crabby Tree. Uh, Robert Patrick. Yeah, yes. Robert Patrick was in it. And it was just like, you know, a plot line they would go back to every once in a while on that show. And at the end, I think humanity got absolutely completely wiped out. So that's the kind of thing The Outer Limits was. Yep. Yeah, lots of what's his faces in that show. Ah. Ooh, another, like, these seem more like objects than fuel. Look at all these things. I wonder what they are. I don't know. Looks like gas. I'll, I'll throw it in the engine. If no nothing else, they will burn. Works great. Works every time. Uh, suck pipe. I'll be these. Thank you. Make your depth 100. Dead slow ahead. Oop. It's fine. It's fine. Just a little. Mildly scrapey. This thing swims like Mario. A hundred and twenty-nine dollars for Civ Seven. Is that Canadian money? <laughs> Helm, 108. <laughs> yeah, 108 okay. the drive. <laughs> mm. We gotta wait for that big bottom boom. Go, go down, please. Down faster, as fast as you possibly can. Maybe down. That's a the more. season pass version of Civ Seven. Is that with all the DLC forever? I mean, I've probably spent way more than that on Civ 6 over the years. Like with just the DLC? Yeah, right? Like I've I bought I Civ 6. And I then don't like... need those. I got lots of stuff. Then like three major DLCs and a couple of like leader expansions. And I got like 10 years out of Civ 6. I hope in this version of the game that barbarians don't just hang out in neighboring uh, civilization's territory. Mm -hmm being completely, like, untouched and not doing anything until the neighboring civilization. Uh-huh. And neighboring civilizations just acting as barbarian reservoirs. Mm-hmm. Uh that happened last time we played it. Yep.
This is so cool. I would love like a lovers in a dangerous space time version of this where you Oh yeah, you're all managing different systems. Yeah. Oh, we're stopped. Um mm -hmm. Welcome Raiders. Welcome, Lumi. How's it going? Should I surface? Maybe? Oh. Oh. Underground. Oh. Hell yeah. We got a hanging ceiling here. Or hanging wall. That's what it is. then what's the radar say nothing okay interesting interesting man all the little systems on our boat are just so cool mm -hmm. and i like that you know we have been going back and forth on them like mm. uh oh okay, i have to go down it's just, we're just gonna be hitting this wall. I think we're just gonna hit the wall. We're just gonna hit the wall. Is this another one of those dealies where I have to put the mast up to get up there? Looks like it. No, it might be a down underwater thing. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Might be an underwater gate, too. I'm just going to go down and... Investigate? Yeah. Scoo to boot? Because that other one had a switch on the floor. It might auto-go. Oh. Oh. That's something right, we could put a hook something. on. Yeah. Don't really need to back up, so. Scoochin. It's just gonna get past us here. What's inside the hatch? Maybe we shouldn't find out. Mm, we are nearing the end of the stream. Mm -hmm. What if we what if we left it a mystery? <gasps> Everyone loves a mysterious hatch. Yeah, a cliffhanger. Mmm, J.J. Abrams. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. What do we think? This is cool. It's satisfying. It sets up a lot of things without, like, saying anything, really. I was kind of expecting, I don't know, when I when I heard Side Scroller, um, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but this has kind of like a very satisfying, um, I don't know, post-apocalyptic, but non... Um, Hostile? Yeah, non-hostile. It, it feels like an adventure through a ruin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, I don't know, uh, an upgrade. It's it's it follows the first one. 
very okay. easily. Uh, the first one is similar. Yeah, um, I, as someone who's completely unfamiliar with the first game, this is still satisfying. Mm -hmm. I don't feel lost. I like the way it delivers just a little bit of like, you know, lore on what happened, a little bit of background, but honestly, like a lot of its storytelling occurs, you know, in situ. Mm -hmm. um, Come in, uh, like, yeah, uh, Jusant, the rock climbing game is similar for sure. Yes, yes, Jusant. Yes, I was trying to remember the name of it. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah, I don't know. I find this delightful. I don't know how long I would play it for, but it well, is you probably played for the whole six thing. hours. Yeah, six yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah. And then you're like, well, that was a pleasant experience, and now it's over, and that's okay. And then when the next one rolls up, you're just like, oh, another I one that of one. these. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can come back to this and do that again for a little while. Um, but, like, imagine if you had, like, kids or, like, a cool niece or nephew or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could just sit them down in front of this for a little while. Or play with them. Yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, where's Minecraft? Fine. <laughs> I'm not going to no. take you to see Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Mama, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the environments are really cool in this, and it does a lot to clearly communicate what the player is supposed to do. Yes, yeah, without being kind, without being like, I don't know, it doesn't feel condescending about it, right? Yeah, like it highlights no, it's just the part of it's just like this is the game you're playing. You're playing this game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it it. There was no frustration experienced, except for the part where we were trying to figure out how yeah, to get like, the little, hose down I got a to little thing. But like that was just that was kind of just me not expecting the hoses to stretch forever. Yes, yeah, exactly. Right. Um and that's not even frustration, that's just like, well, how am I actually that I, I think that's gameplay. <laughs> Frankly. Kind of, like yeah. but that was like the only time I got confused or stuck. It's mm -hmm. yeah. So it's not it's not a challenging game. There are there are things you can do like to totally wreck your ship, but mm -hmm. or like run out of fuel and get stranded kind of thing. But it's pretty generous with giving you the resources you need mm. to keep going, no matter what. It made me want a boat. I should buy a boat. I should buy a boat. And then I could disappear at sea. You're not allowed a boat. No, probably because I would disappear at sea. What about sup? You know, get a stand-up mm -hmm. paddleboard? No, that's that's just like a tease. You don't think you could just paddle into the distance? I mean, I definitely could and would. <laughs> <laughs> On purpose? <laughs> just like start chumming the water, hoping an orca <laughs> shows up. Take me. And the orcas are all just like, no, this is weird, man. I don't want to eat this one. It's clearly sick. Yeah, there's something wrong with this one. Right? It would be like if a hamburger walked up to you and was like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. A little restaurant at the end of the universe. Like, mmm, this part's especially delicious. Please eat my ass. <laughs> I forgot. You <laughs> pointed to the hindquarters. Yes, it did. Well. Orcas only target yachts. Yeah. Oh, well, I... oh yeah. No. Or their trainers. I don't know. Um. Yep. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>